Hi everyone, today we'll be answering potential Java interview questions related to interfaces. So, without further ado, let's get started with the first one. What is an interface? Interface is a special structure in Java used to define a contract that needs to be implemented in the classes that implement an interface. It is defined by using the keyword interface and provides a layer of abstraction when defining APIs. We have shown here one interface implementation in Java. Can we instantiate an interface in Java? If you have watched our video on abstract classes, and we most definitely advise you to do so, you would know by now that abstract classes cannot be instantiated. That is also the case for interfaces. If you would try to do that, Java would report a compile time error. We can see here how that compile time error looks like in the IntelliJ IDE. Can we have method implementations in interfaces? Prior to Java 8, implementing methods in interfaces was not possible. Since Java 8, static and default methods were introduced in interfaces. Static methods are mostly used to define some utility behavior that are called by using the interface name explicitly. We have shown one such static method called ProduceID in the interface electrical device. Extending contracts of APIs are now easier since default methods have been introduced because we can define them in interfaces and they would not break any subclasses that are implementing them since implementation of default methods is not mandatory. We only need to re-implement them where needed. We use default keyword to define these types of methods. Here is a simple example of a default method called shutdown. Introducing default methods in interfaces and having in mind that we can implement multiple interfaces and classes, Diamond problem has resurfaced in Java. Let's have a look at the two following interfaces, camera and mp3 player. Both of them are extending the electrical device interface and both of them have overridden default shutdown method. If we would try to implement both of these interfaces in class smartphone, Java would report a compile time error because it would not be capable of resolving which shutdown method to actually use. Can we define constructors in interfaces? We already said in one of the previous questions that we cannot instantiate interfaces, but unlike the abstract classes, where we could define constructors that would use to initialize the state of the object, we cannot do so for interfaces. Here is an example that shows a compile error reported by Java when we tried to define a constructor for electrical interface. Can methods in interfaces be private? If you want to get extra points from your interviewer, you should most definitely ask to which version they are referring to when asking this question. Reason for this is that from Java 9, private methods have been introduced for interfaces. Since default and static methods added a degree of complexity in interfaces, engineers that are developing Java have realized that it would be better to support private methods as they would improve the code reusability when defining interfaces. Here, we have an electrical device interface with its shutdown default method that is calling the turn off screen method. Prior to Java 9, turn off screen method could not be shared among multiple default or static methods. Can we define variables in interfaces? How would we define them since we cannot create an object of that interface type? So the clear answer to that question is no. People often get misled that we can as we can define constants in interfaces and think that those are variables. They're default in Java 
and adding final and static keywords to them is redundant, as you can see in this example. Can interfaces extend classes in Java? Interfaces cannot extend classes, which kind of makes sense considering that we cannot instantiate them, nor we can define constructors for them. We have tried doing so by extending the electrical device interface with integer class, and we have got a compile time error reported by Java. Can interfaces implement other interfaces in Java? This is definitely possible, but bear in mind that we do not use the implement keyword as we would when implementing interfaces in other classes, but instead we use the extends keyword. Extending interface will inherit all abstract methods from the interface that it extends. One interface can extend multiple other interfaces. What is a marker interface? Marker interface is an interface without any methods or constants, and it is being used for type checking. One of the most widely used marker interfaces in Java are clonable and serializable. We have shown how clonable marker interface looks like in the java.lang package, and we will talk more about serializable in one of our upcoming videos. What is a functional interface in Java? Functional interfaces are interfaces with a single abstract method. They have been introduced in Java 8 to support Lambda expressions. There is a functional interface annotation, which is optional, but is useful since it enforces interfaces to only have that one method. Here, we have shown how that annotation is used and the compile error that Java reports if we would try to declare more than one method. Most famous functional interface is runnable, used as an argument for creating long-running threads. We can clearly see the difference in using this functional interface before Java 8, where we had to define an anonymous class and re-implement the run method. Usage below that one is most definitely cleaner and easier to use, where we just define the body with a lambda expression, and compiler is capable of translating this into the code shown above. What is the output of the currently displayed example? Correct answer is class 1. Reason for this is because compiler will always choose method implementation from the class rather than the one from the default method defined in an interface. What will be logged in the console output? Interface 2 is the answer to this one. Java will always prefer default method implementation from a more specific interface, which in this case is interface 2. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it and you would like to see more content of this type, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below and we will try to respond as soon as possible. Till next time, goodbye.